Hey guys, it's me here. And it's Zach again. And this is tutorial number four, where we'll teach you how to make multiple levels and uh, to create goals. Uh, so the agenda is that we're going to first show you what we're going to be making by the end of this tutorial. But we're going to create a couple of levels. We're going to create a goal object. Um, we're going to make sure that this goal takes you to the next level. And if you're on the last level, this goal should uh, beat the game once you, once you collect it. So let's go ahead and show you what we're going to make. So you're going to see the game almost really similar, except you'll see a checkered flag right up here that I'm heading to. When I go to that, I go to the next level. And this is the second level, which is also the last level. So in the last level, when I complete it, head to the checkered flag. I beat the game. It says you beat the game. And click OK, and we beat the game. Cool. So let's go ahead and take that off. And let's load up where we left off last time. So we have the wall and the player. So let's go ahead and create another level. So let's go to rooms, create room, uh, change the name to rm underscore two for the second room. Uh, remember, snap x and snap y need to be changed to 32 by 32. You need to do this for every room that you create from now on. Um, and let's create a maze. So I'm gonna create the player, I'm gonna put them right here. I'm going to select wall, and I'm going to hold down shift, and uh, just kind of create a rough maze, nothing, you know, incredibly fancy here. And uh, that's okay for right now. And uh, as you can see, we now have two rooms, so that's enough for right now. I'll take that off. And uh, I'm actually going to run this right now because uh, we have two rooms that should be available in the game, right? Yeah, I hope so. So when we start off, we're stuck in the first room, and there's really no way to go to the second room, even though it exists. Yeah, it seems uh, like I'm stuck on the first level. Right. So we have to allow the player to reach other levels. Let's go ahead and do that. We're going to do that by creating something called a goal object. Uh, so let's go to sprites, create sprite. Let's call it SPR goal. Let's go load sprite. Uh, there it is, gold.png. Uh, remember to uncheck precise collision checking. Okay, we're going to create an object. Call it OBJ goal. And uh, we're going to make sure that it has the goal sprite. Click OK. And now we've created our goal. And now we're going to go to the rooms, and we're going to place the goal. So we want to kind of make it at a decent distance away so that the player has to travel through the maze. Then I'll place a goal over there. And in room two, uh, let's see, where should I put it? I'm actually going to put it all the way up here. And uh, now the goal's there. So if we run it right now. So I see the checkered flag now. If I go there, I go to the next. Oh, I don't. Right, because we haven't implemented the events and actions, of course. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, so let's open OBJ goal. We want to add an event, and we want to call it a collision event with the player. So when the player touches the goal, he should go to the next level. Um, and if we look under main one, there's an action over here called uh, next room. So we're going to click on it, drag it in. And the transition effect is just something to make it pretty uh, so we can you know, blend from one level to another. We're going to select fade out and in. You can select any one that you like. And so it knows that the room below it is the next room to go to? Right. So if you look at the rooms folder right over here, it orders the room according to uh, from top to bottom. So room one is before room two. And you can kind of drag and drop and switch them around. But we're going to leave it as is for now. So let's run the game. I go to the goal and I go to the next level. And now I'm going to go here to the next level. I oh, an error. we got an error. Um, well, one thing we know is that the goal did take us to the next level, so that's good. We can check that off. But we have this problem here, and it says um, fatal error in action number one of collision event with object OBJ player and object OBJ goal. Moving to the next room after the last room. So, what does this mean? 
basically, we're on the second room. There are no rooms left, but we're telling it in OBJ Goal, go to the next room. Uh, and that's a problem. So we got to fix that. Uh, this is similar. We're going to use something similar to what we did last time with uh, checking if they're aligned. Uh, we're going to use another if condition, which is check next. It's under main one. So if we drag it on top of go to next room, it says if next room exists, then go to the next room. So that way if the next room doesn't exist, it won't try to go to the next room and it, give us that error. Exactly. It won't do anything. But we want it to uh, beat the game, right? When we click the last goal, we, we're done with the game. So we have to account for that. Uh, so we have this if condition here. What we have to do is something called else. And what that means is that it covers everything outside of this. So in this case, if next room does not exist, what should it do? We have to go to the control tab. Over here is an octagon that says else. We want to select it, drag it to the bottom, and everything underneath else will happen if no next room exists. So right? This is in our last level. Right. So we're going to go to main two. We're going to select display message, drag it underneath everything, and we're going to call it congratulations because this is what happens when you get to the last. Congratulations, you beat the game. And then we're going to select end game, drag it down here, and that should be it. So let's run it. So I'm going to beat this level. And hopefully now that the next room doesn't exist, I'm going to hopefully beat the game. And I get the message. Awesome. And now it's done and left, and we did that so we can check that. And we are done. Feel free to make multiple levels. You can make as many as you want. Uh, just make sure there's a goal object in every single one. And automatically, if it's the last level, then you're good to go. Enjoy working on it. Ask your teacher if you have any questions. And remember to save your work. See you next time.